Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to convert your Olympia or Optima typewriter into a USB keyboard or iPad dock using the USB typewriter conversion kit. Olympias and Optimas are some of my favorite typewriters, and they come in lots of cool colors and styles. Here are some examples of ones that'll work with the kit. Unfortunately, the kit won't work with typewriters that have metal plates covering the underside, like this one or like this one. It also won't work with desktop typewriters. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to scratch away the paint from the part of the key that's going to strike our electronic contacts. This will expose the conductive metal underneath. You can use a coarse grit emery board, a metal file, or some sandpaper. You can even use a Dremel tool with a wire brush attachment. When you're done, each of these little bumps underneath the crossbar should appear smooth and shiny instead of dull. The next step is to attach the electronic contacts that will detect each key press. Simply take the circuit board that came with your kit and slide the gold-plated contacts underneath the crossbar. Then, cut out a piece of cardboard and use it to hold the contacts flat against the crossbar. Using a hot glue gun, apply a thick bead of glue underneath the electronics to hold them in place. Use your fingers to make a crease in the contact strip. Then begin to fold the contacts over into a U shape. Here's the same thing shown from another angle. Folding the contacts like this will create a pocket for us to fill with hot glue. Now take your glue gun and run a healthy bead of hot glue down the length of the contact strip. You may need to go back over it a few times to build up enough glue. As the glue is setting, use your fingers to gently push the contacts back into their original position. This is more for aesthetics than anything, but it makes the contacts look neater when they're pressed up against the circuit board and you can't see much of the glue. Once the glue is completely dried, remove your cardboard. Now, if the contacts are too close to the keys, then the slightest touch will create a key press. To reduce the sensitivity, we're going to push the contacts back from the keys a little bit by bending the key all the way on the right. The next step is to attach the four rubber bumpers that came with your kit onto the four white dots on the back of the control panel. Once you've stuck the four bumpers into place, add a bead of hot glue onto each side of the circuit board. Before the glue has had a chance to dry, flip the control panel upside down and affix it to the back left side of the typewriter. Once the control panel is attached, you can take the ribbon cable from the other circuit board and click it into the connector on the control panel. Next. Identify a screw on the underneath of the typewriter that you can easily remove. Make sure that there's no paint or dirt underneath the screw. If so, you'll have to remove it with a sharp tool. Then attach the green wire underneath the screw. Strip the other end of the green wire and insert it into the hole marked C on your control panel. 
Retighten the screw to lock that wire into place. Well, your project is almost done and your USB typewriter is almost working. For the finishing touches, visit www.usbtypewriter.com slash final steps. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project.